3D animated text, just like this one. Okay, so let me show the animation again. Here's the dice. Pretty cool, huh? Eh? Alright, let's jump to 3DS Max. I'm using 3DS Max 2009. You can get it from the website, it's your autodesk.com, and you can download 30 day trial. Anyway, um, let's start off with uh, creating an hour object. We go to here to extend primitives. So check the comfort block box. And just draw a box around. We go to modify tab. Changes to 40, 40, 40. Let's reflect four. Length segment three, 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 and two. Okay. We right click on it. And we select. It's right here, but because I'm screen recording. Can see it. It's convert to editable poly. We enable the polygons. Now we click and with the control button we select the other four for the first part of the dice. We go down here, select the inset to be one. It's okay. Extrude to. Um, minus 1.5 it's okay I think pretty good now we select the other two this will be our six part side okay now I have a dice here you could see that this is a six part over the top it's four under it's five one so six five here Two here and three on the bottom. I think. Anyway, I don't have a dice here, so I could check with a real dice the parts on them. Okay, we select the other six which we left when we did them first. We go, this is important, we go to glow selection, then we click M on the keyboard to bring up the materials. Let me create a new material. We'll go to um, change the map to multi sub subject, discard. I only need two, ma two maps. Let's make the first one here on diffuse make it white then go back with this button select the other one to be a bit darkish red and go back and we apply this to the object we've created a can see a render here quick render this is good this is good I don't like the edges so they're a bit too edgy. We close this one and we go to the modified list and select turbo smooth. And we do like four iterations would be good. Let's see it again. Nice, nice. Now let's animate the dice. To animate the dice we have to select we have this range here from not to one hundred and we use it to create keyframes on it so we do like auto key select the keyframe we go forward to the last frame and we will rotate the dice 360 degrees Play the animation. Nice. 
Nice. Okay. Um, I don't like the animation because it's starting off smoothly. Finishes smoothly. So we'll go to the <coughs> curve editor and uh, change the ending of the animation. This is the animation here. So you see it has a nice start and a little smooth finishing. We'll change it to an abrupt one and start as well. Okay, we close this one and preview it again. Okay. So now it repeats and it is a constant motion. Okay. Well, now we go to settings. We select the range from the time output from 0 to 100. This is for the frame range. We can change the width height here by clicking these buttons here. Change the aperture, many other stuff. Options here. I let you look it yourself and we'll go now to render output. Select the file in dice. Dice. So we to the desktop. Can change the format here from AVI to move PNG or even BMP here. You can save as a sequence of image. Yes, um, I'll save it as AVI. I think save change the quality here, it's okay. And um, then we have we only have just to click render here and we'll be done. Okay, I'm Alex from SecondStudios.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stop by and drop your comments or questions if you have any. And thank you for watching.